Back here in Texas, gyms across El Paso are getting set to reopen their doors, and there was certainly a lot that went into that decision. And gym owners across the city are not taking the precautions that were outlined by the governor lightly. KTSM 9's Colin Deaver shows us how safety is their number one priority. For the last two months, gyms around El Paso had to get a little creative to help people stay fit at home. We used cans for, for weights. We used books. We showed people how to work out with backpacks, with mops. And even <laughs> children? All kinds of awesome workouts with, with stuff that's just lying around your house. But on May 18th, gyms will be allowed to reopen after Greg Abbott issued an executive order on May 5th. However, extensive precautions must be taken. Gyms can only open at 25% capacity. Locker rooms and showers must remain closed. Social distancing must be practiced at all times and equipment must be disinfected after each use. Most gyms are also implementing stricter guidelines, including all eight Sun City Anytime Fitness locations. What we've gone above and beyond as far as making sure that we've got appropriate airflow and then plus some. We've added wipe canisters throughout the gym, whereas before we had four or five, now we've got six or seven throughout the 7,000 square feet to 8,000 square feet, depending on which location you're at. Masks and gloves are required for employees and recommended for patrons. Anytime we'll have staff members on site 24-7 to ensure safety precautions are being taken. And at TK Fit, they've set up eight by eight workout zones to protect their customers, in addition to the strict measures they've always taken. Each person will have their own equipment so there's no cross-contamination, which will be disinfected after each session as well. While patrons will be allowed back, both businesses still plan on doing online workouts for those who don't yet feel safe returning to the gym. Our whole thing is, how do we help people get healthy and make healthy happen? So it's not just about the people that do come to any time, it's about El Paso as a whole. For a full list of regulations and precautions, head to our website, ktsm.com. Reporting in El Paso, Colin Deaver, KTSM 9 Sports.